Hello, people of Earth. It's your pal, the Orbital Outcast, Rad Gnarly, coming away with another low-key broadcast. Tonight, we're searching for the right thing to say in Lost Words Beyond the Page. But first, I'd like to say hello to everyone in chat or checking us out on VOD. No matter where or when you happen to be in this great big old world of ours, happy to have you with us. We hope that it finds you well. All right, so an especially low-key stream tonight. As I have a uh, small cam energy. So we're just going with the still tonight. Might be thematically appropriate given the context in the uh, presentation here. So I shall press A to start as instructed. And oh, I'm this little thing here. Ha ha. All right. So I got to play as Tinkerbell. Uh, maybe I live inside this young girl's locket, but I'm pretty sure we're about to not invade their privacy because they're openly sharing their diary. But this this could uh, this one get, get quite feely. Just putting that out there before we start. So let's go ahead and start. Last words beyond the page. In just a moment. <laughs> wow, I want to be the pink one. It's the most fun color. I do like green too. I like all colors really. Ah, yeah, let's go green. It's, it'll be easier to select next time since the cursor will be there. Okay. I wonder if there's a lot of talking. It is based on words in general. Oh, hello, Nana. Gifto Diary. Diaryception. Well, that was worth a thousand of them. How many more words do we have to collect? Oh. Me. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So this is left stick. Ah! Move person. Right stick. Unveil wonders? Oh, Hi, that's Jenna. door. Is it okay, okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. Okay, hang on. I'm going to turn it off, actually. Not often that I do this. Hang on, let me correct this. Uh, no, I still feel like I should turn it up. I'm Voices Isabel and sound effects Barbara for sure. Kirk. Oh, that's handy. Thank you very much. I love it when games give me a little, well, this is how loud it's going to be now. Yeah, that's fine. Can we do music all the way? Can't really tell at the moment. Let's music down two ticks. Maybe help the other stuff pop a little bit. Back to it. All right. Since we're here, I'm going to want to hear uh, what do you have to say for yourself. I don't think I need this thing yet, but I know I'm going to at some point, so I'm trying to get it involved early. That's you, journal. Is that like a... Is there an interact with button? What do you do? I'm trying the triggers here. Okay, just checking. So far, nothing with the right shtick. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. Oink. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews oh. curtains. He likes red for breakfast. And blue for dinner. Okay, so this is a solid line, so I'm assuming I can slide down here. Oink. Oh, cool! It's not really a pop up book, but look at that. Alright. Hup! And then there's. Alright, now I need to get involved. I gotta choose this. Oh! Okay, so trigger selects. Mom! My top gotcha. tea drinking buddy. Okay, so this is gonna be like a a mad lib platformer? Cause I am down. Hup. Queen of the kettle. Ugh. Guardian of the biscuit tin. Sweet side pone. Uh oh. Ah I go get my tea and this. Boink. Is pink. Boink. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Oh, fun. Pinky fact. Actually afraid of mice. Oh, no. Pinky. Hup. There we go. So far, this is delightful. Today's my birthday. Oh, sweet. Dad made his best cake. 
Mum and huh. Bran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Can I just do that? Is this a thing I... Oh, ah, the bookmark. All right, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, I can. All right. So I have to get over there first. Okay. That's interesting. Hop. Wait. And made a wish. Oh, geez. Okay, so I actually used the verb to do to affect stuff in the world. So there's a little like scribble knots element. To be taller than dad. Hup. Hey, it could happen. Then there's music down here. Hang on. Hup. Wrong button. Okay, I gotta remember which cheek does which. Well, there's no, like, health bar, so I'm assuming it's just if I fall off the page, I'm toast. I just wanted to see if the music did anything. Whoa! That was close. Eh. Eh. Hip! Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Jano. It certainly is. Okay, so we'll start with the easy one, since you just have to kind of hop up here. And then we'll give you as much clearance as we can to get over here. And then we'll work on getting you up there. Hip. Starting is half the battle. Don't worry about being good. Practice, practice, practice. Says Gran. Thanks, Gran. Hmm, I don't think I can write or I can walk on the blue ones. Let's check. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hip. Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Oof. What a dull tapestry I would write. Or I would unra unravel. And then I sat still and read someone else's words for hours on end. And then I sat still. A writer writes. Oh, not quite there. Cool, I gotta build sentences. A writer writes. Oh, no Grant's one gets... ever got anything just by wanting it. <laughs> I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. True. I mean, if you actually want to be taller than your dad, you're going to have to, like, do some research. Perhaps there's some supplements you can Brad take. said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. Oh, no. I should do it then more. All right. Eh. Ah. So if I unlock and put it over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I jump over you? Can I take you with me? No. Okay. Just checking. Now where should I start? Geronimo! I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Does that make me feel better about my height? Oh, it also works with in-game illustration or in-book illustrations. That's fun. Hup. Or about Frog your height. Writing. Oh, are you in the way? Yeah, you are. Okay. I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? <laughs> Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? <laughs> Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. Why can't you, wait, why can't you write a science fiction tale with fantastical elements that blends drama with romantic and comedic elements? You know, like most things. A fantasy story. There you go. That's fairy tales. That's about all that wrapped into one. So, how do I start my fantasy story? What well, traditionally, yeah. Ugh, no one said this would be easy. Right? Again. Little cliche. From the top. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Mmm. Also kind of hackneyed at this point. Not so far away. In the land of. Whoa. Astoria. Astoria? A place of. Little peace on the nose. And magic. And stories. Wait. Are those houses hanging from the trees? That's cool. Allow me to investigate. There lived a girl named... Do I have some agency? Can I, like, pick a name? Er. 
sounds noble and spiritual, maybe. Someone who confronts monsters. Georgia. Oh, like George and the dragon. Free like a bird in the sky. Hmm. Noble or spiritual? Someone who confronts monsters. Is this like a... Di this isn't a difficulty setting. It's just a... Let's do free, I guess? Robin! There you go. Everyone knew her by the bright color. I mean... I love purple, but... Well, you get a purple flower in your hair. And this character definitely... Uh, a girl named Robin probably has a red dress. Of her red dress. Yeah. She was ready to begin her adventure. There we go. Wait, does that mean... Next page, I'm going to be colored in. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life. For she was the only apprentice of the village guardian. Uh, why is this down here? You have a strange way of writing some of these sentences. <laughs> Elder Ava. Like if you had just written it as you would underneath over here. I could still jump over here. If you tuck that underneath, I'd still, I mean, I could fall down. All right, anyway. All characters in this story are fictitious. Any relation to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Okay, so she's immediately put her grandmother into the story. Here we go. Everyone was very fond of Robin. Aha, I didn't get to choose their name for whatever. Her heart was full of curiosity. And Still waiting on that red dress. The villagers agreed that no one was... As... She cared for others and liked making fruit and punch. She loved learning and went nowhere without her books. So, kind of a strange way to say that. She was happily mischievous and always found something to play with. Ah, uh, sure, let's go with that. She was free as a bird. Let's make her like a... As playful as her. Total space cadet. I'm just kidding. Free of worry. It is a fantasy story, after all. Oh. Oh, jeez. Beyond the page, indeed. This is cool. Not too far away in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Robin. Alright. And her little Tinkerbell. She was playful and loved using her wit and imagination. Yeah, we mad libbed ourselves up a hero heroine. Oh, Capsule Court Treehouse. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Robin. Buzz buzz. Yeah. Hello, Customize my character. Bird. Oh, hello. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, I think I have to advance a dialogue myself. Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. Yes, let's. The firefly shared Robin's excitement. Can I? Can we I still jump on words? Gaming marbles on the way back. We should. They are all over the place because I I fought a giant with them. Right, Firefly? Sure did. Alright, up you get Lazy Bones. She looks like, uh, got that sweet poncho, kinda. Kinda looks like Lydia from the Beetlejuice cartoon. Hang on. Nothing back here. This marble fell from a passing star. Got a marble. Can I do anything else yet? Pink speck of light. Little firefly. No. Okay. What are you? Oh. This one was the glass eye of a sea sprite. Huh. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Good work. Go down first, and then. All right. Can easily move stuff out of the way. This one's almost as pretty as you, firefly. Almost. Oh, you flatter me. Hep. Maybe I need this over here. This last 
one's my champion. Took the giants out cold. Excellent. Come all on, right, so all the marbles life. are together. The village is just a bit further down. Wow. <laughs> I love doing that. Wow, and then who? But I can't interact with these yet or anymore. Maybe not yet. Maybe I have to wait for the special colors. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Robin. Careful. Robin okay. imagined shark fins circling below. Wait, all right. Where's that? I see no such fins. Can I create them? Hmm. Not yet. I hope those elements didn't disappear. I hope they weren't just for the introduction. We made it, Firefly. And down. <laughs> Alright, well no fall damage. But I was clearly meant to do a lot more on the way down. It probably told me how to like slide down or something. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I tripped your audio one. before I saw it. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Boing, Just one more boing. little slide. Here we go! Backwards on one foot. Yeah, now we're moonwalking. The old cargo lift barely There we used. go. Oh. Still functional. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Robin couldn't wait to show her firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftops. Or prank the village builders. Look, Firefly. Hi. Something's gonna be wrong. It's too happy. The warm lights and enticing smells of Elsa Ava's heart welcomed her. Boink. Off to Grandma's. Elder What's up, Grandma? Happy birthday, Robin. Made a new friend. Hello. This is me. One of our sacred fireflies. Sacred. This is a very special thing indeed. Mm. Does this mean? Yes. It is time. It's time for you to use the family slingshot. Would you fetch me that? Jump up there, would you? Sure would. Ava was sure that Robin would rise to the occasion. What box? Oh, I could just lift it with my word power. Uh... Okay, now I'm directly affecting the world. Noise. Here you go. Much like the diary was given to you, here's a diary, but a magic go one. Ahead. Open it. Write what you know. It's a fantasy story about the experience she literally just had. Of receiving a book. Kajoink. What do you mean? Left trigger. Okay. Oh, I can use those all the time, huh? Q, it's a spell book. All the magic words you find. Sweet. Can I only use them once per day? Some will stay with you. Others are fleeting. Hmm. They will hmm. help you overcome any obstacle. Now, cool. Your training is complete. Now get out of my hair. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Whoa, 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 all of them? I just, I just met this one, and suddenly I'm in charge of all of the fireflies? That's a lot of responsibility. But that's you. Not anymore. Happy birthday. Guardian in retirement now. A lifetime of obligation. You're welcome. You should head to the shrine tree for the other fireflies' blessing. I don't know why this is always a... It's supposed to be seen as a positive thing. You're welcome. I have hoisted this burden upon you. I am finally free. I'll happy birthday. Happy, okay, I'm just gonna go process, but forever? Every firefly. 
Uh, I guess I, until I have a granddaughter, I can suck her into taking over as well. Neat. Wait. What's the problem here? Uh. Uh. Oh. Before I forget. Oh. Okay. Something of mine to mark the occasion. Am I supposed to recognize that this is a doorway? What do I, how did I, I thought I came in down here? Okay. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Robin a gift. Ava's mm. favorite pendant. Set with a giant. Uh, I'm gonna go emerald because it's nice and bright and green. It's a contrast. We already have some green going on. I don't want more I don't want more red because we already have red. What color is the sapphire? Is that the thing that's purple? Hmm. One second. Let me just double check the color of the sapphire. I don't know anything about gems, because I don't really have any use for them. If they were kyber crystals, maybe we could talk, but... Blue. Not that exciting. Uh, let's go emerald, then. Emerald! Yeah, yeah. Uh, emerald. An emerald. Now, off oh, yeah, go. there it goes! Perfect. Now off I go. Oh, I guess I can't. All right. I'm so proud of you, Robin. Back to it. Okay, so that's. I can do that any time, maybe. I wonder if there's going to be like an indicator. Maybe it'll sparkle a little bit, much like my fairy friend here. Wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Robin was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. You know what we can do for you, buddy? Oh, how'd you do that? Wait a minute. She's got the power. She must have the book. I got the touch. I got the power. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You knocked it all over. That's not helpful. So, so far we've used it to help ourselves, and then we ruined their nice stack of wood. <laughs> Neat. Uh, can I use it on this that I'm standing on? Can I use it on the other one that I'm standing on? Uh, this one right here. No? Okay. Oh, it was my fault for being in the way? There you go. I'm confused. Can I move you? Whoa. Okay, now what do I do? So far, nothing. Okay. Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Oh. Robin loves throwing stones over the rooftops, but not today. Ah, oh, missed. Go no good. Look, Robin has the book. Today, the Firefly Shrine was waiting. Oh. Okay. She looked over her bustling treetop village. Hey, what's going on, Nate? How you doing, buddy? This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Okay. Cleared it right And off. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of... Oh, all these eavesdropped conversations. I would be plugging my ears right now. Inside, she was None of my business. Curious. None of my business. Happy birthday. Okay, that's my business. Thank you. Good to see you. She's got a poncho. She's got a magic poncho. About the world that lay beyond. Oh, here we go. Beyond the first few pages of our diary. Okay, so I can lift things, but so far I haven't had to. 
I'm sure it'll come in handy. The bridge swayed in the warm breeze. It slacks creak with a gentle familiarity as Robin crossed it. Is this, can I start trouble? Well, she called me out on it. Alright, fine. Now I will lift you out of this window. Nah. Never mind. Can I do anything with this? Oh, okay. So I specifically wait for the ones I need to interact with. Like so. Up you go. I needed to be standing on that. That's true. If not for eavesdropping on their word balloons. How else am I going to know the gossip? Well, I'm just saying, like, if it were me as the character and not the character herself, I wouldn't want to know the gossip. None of my business. Seen that Bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. You have to see oh. the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Everyone's so helpful so far. I'm not running into a single conflict that I can't resolve with my words. Hee 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 hee. Literally and figuratively. That's okay. Lucky for you, I have a mag- I've got a magic spell book. See you later. Robin couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they bless her as new village guardian. Oh, I thought like sh she was preparing to sneeze. Soon they would bless her. Tiny little gazoon heights in their tiny fairy voices. Sames. Oh! Aha! Little pitfall action. Uh, uh, we shall. Hip. Nailed it. Do I go up here? Oh no! Time to crawl. Robin crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. Yeah, they just seemed like they expected me to get the magic powers. I don't know if you were here for it, but like my grandmother gave them to me, or at least gave me this magic book, and then was immediately yeah, like, sweet, you're in charge of all the fireflies now. Like she just handed her lifelong obligation to, over to us on our birthday, like it was a gift. Hmm, didn't feel like being hugged at all. Normally she's cool with the, the roots of the trees, gently caressing her as she climbs through or crawls through. Wow. I wish there was a way to quickly use the last power word you previously used. Oh no, wrong buttons, because I have to trigger, and then this trigger, and then over here. Ah, no oh, get over there. Now. Can't remember which stick does what. Whee! Whee. Maybe I can just leave it on rise and just kind of like, got it at the ready. To announce her arrival. Ba ding ba dong ba doom. Hip. Ring that bell. At last, the tree was in sight. Home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Plunk. Whoa! I'm in the learning spot. Go on. Show them what you can do. I thought I was. That's oh, there. It. They're accepting their new guardian. Okay. Yeah, this is Grandma having the best day of her life, giving us her job. A timeless energy. Oh, the Earth birthed a new wedding cake before my very eyes. Now she was part of it. Oh, she's ascending. Wild. Okay, maybe it's not so bad. And so, but there's still the caveat. Firefly Guardian. Yeah, being the Firefly Guardian. Her biggest adventure is yet to come. Seems it comes with powers beyond what we already have. Maybe not all bad. Grandma could have prepared us, though. Hello, Journal. All right. This time of the year. We are also uh, the girl that is writing in the journal that is telling the story. And so we are shaping the story before we go venture into it and stuff like that. So there's like a Mad Libs portion where we get to like choose a couple of things that I think inform with the level that we eventually play in looks like, which is pretty neat. I'm expecting, or I'm anticipating uh, 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 a loss, a familial loss, because this uh, diary was gifted to us by a grandmother 
and then the elder is based on our grandmother in the fantasy land. So I feel like we might lose grandma and deal with it, like process our grief, it, like by playing the game. Anyway, it gets here we go. Dark so early. Okay, now that I can affect things. Like the day. Achia. It's just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. <laughs> Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. Boink. Oh, okay, so now that it's nighttime. I'm going from page to page. I've never actually Oof. seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Can I grab ye? Nope, okay. Yeah, and then when we're in the journal, all looking like stuff that a <laughs> tween to teenage uh, <laughs> uh, journal writer of uh, you know either gender would write, like jelly pens and stuff. Glowing things are cool. Okay. Especially in nature. Whoa! Light them up! Light them up! Light them up! Aha! See? There's always some like little task you get to do to rip the page open to go to the next bit. Nature has all the cool things. Yeah, so then she even does her own like liner notes. Like a it's an annotated edition of her own journal. Gran and I would go to the beach. Boink. And look up at the stars. Huh? But one night, we looked down instead. The stars Whoa. were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. That was cool. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles. Pebbles. Boop. 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 Pebble. They glowed Boink. beneath our toes. Cool. Like that Michael Jackson video. Gran said it was called bioluminescence. Oh. Whoa. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. Oh, yeah, and then there are scales and whatnot. Oh, do I have to wait? I probably have to wait. Yeah, gotta wait for the tide. Hup! There we go. I knew it was just little creatures, but it felt like magic. Whoa. Just had to spread some magic around. <laughs> I got up very early the next morning. I sneaked into the kitchen. Sneaked or snuck? Got a jam jar and oh. went down to the shore to where I'd seen the plankton. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can start manipulating things in this world too. I thought I was just going to have to grab it with my... Uh, with my little fairy bud here. Down you go. That's the only way I can get here? Uh-huh. Build myself a little platform. I mean, I probably could have fallen that into evening, it, but... I was so excited. Dish. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. Sure did. Greatest night lamp. And waited for the night. Ever. But it Boink. didn't glow. I was devastated. Aw. That's a bummer. I showed Gran the job. <laughs> Did I accidentally? She laughed. Gran I didn't notice. always says. Uh. Oh. These are still. I mean, if this is a puzzle element, it's literally just putting words in the sentence. Put but anyway. In nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. See, real close to her Gran. So uh, I suspect the Gran worst. This is a video game, things. and they like to make you feel feelings. She used to be a marine biologist. Cool. Nature is cool and complicated. You're right on both respects. Okay. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. I'm sorry, algae? Whoa, okay. What are we going to start with? I mean, water last, I would think. So... At the bottom, you probably put the pebbles. Oh. I was expecting to cover the whole bottom. Sand. Uh, I mean, I think I need all of them, don't you? Glass, Glass stones. stones. A house. Corals. 
Oh, it looks like the uh, uh, tree houses in the fantasy land. We put up some lights. Lights. Music. Company. Ha. <laughs> Water. There we go. We're all set. We took pictures for Grand's photo album for our future selves to remember. Boink. Oh, neat. Oh, the tank took ages to fill. Yeah. There. Yeah. Do. How we took turns stirring the algae in. That corner. Little corner. How happy we were. There we go. And we had it all set. Just needs eh. time to develop. Eh. Said Grant. Rip. Science! Yes! Science! After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. Until something incredible happened. My Here we own go. Bit of magic. Do I believe in magic? Where are the algae, yo? Running my finger through the water. Uh oh. Somebody knocked at my door. And it is not the opening to Three's Company. So I think this is it. It's, uh, it's bad news time. That was Mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have... a weird... Oh. feeling... in my... stomach. Yeah. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Grand oh, had a stroke. I don't oh. want to believe it. I can't lose her. Huh. Shattered by the news. Robin woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Oh, can't move yet. Oh, okay, she's escaped into fantasy land. Got it. What's I mean, there was, it was, uh, it's an independent game with a unique platforming element, and they make sure that the words themselves are important. Also, I know it's written by, uh, Terry Pratchett's daughter, Rihanna Pratchett, who in her, of herself, I should start just referencing her as herself. She's written a ton of, or a few games that are usually pretty cool, or at least very well written. So, it was a time for the big emotional arc. Yeah, the world is all upside down. Something's wrong with Grandma. Robin, What's up, Nana? A giant creature is attacking our village. It's the grief monster. Attacking? I thought the fireflies protected us. They do, but only if you guard them. There must be something wrong. Oh. Get to the tree at once. Hurry. Uh-oh. One day as guardian of the fairies and you blew it. And suddenly, Robin was surrounded by smoke and cinders. Oh, okay. I was going to say, wait. Where's mine? Um, do I have blue? I just have rise. Can I still use you? Get out of here. I don't mean for the fire to rise. Okay. Sometimes I can't tell if that's in front of me or not, or like on the same level as me. As she hurried past the crackling Let's just get this ready. Her concern grew. Hey, Robin, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. No, it's nice no that's cool. Uh, the village is on fire, so I'm probably not going to want to hide inside anybody's house, if I'm perfectly honest. She looked at her burning treetop village. This was awesome. Guys, you, everyone needs to get out? Hello? Please tell me you're not hiding in there. Gosh. She needed to get to the fireflies. Yep. The fireflies that were inside you this whole time. Look, every time you move. Oh wait, that's the firefly. No, it is. You know, safe. it's kind of the both of you. They're just falling out of your poncho here. 
Wait, maybe it's not a poncho. It's got sleeves. It looks kind of ponchoy though. What is this type of garment called? It looks incredibly comfortable. Like it makes me want to be like a wizard's apprentice just because I figure I could just wear tights and then that and I'm good. Oh dear. If only there was some way I could lift this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Never thought I'd be so glad to see my feet again. No. All right, have a good day. I need to catch the firefly tree. Hmm. The bridge was beyond repair. What? Says you. Okay. Cool. One step at a time. Oh, do I have to hit? Okay. Can I just sweep this over the whole town? Okay. Oh. <gasps> I can. Well, I mean, I can use it later, which is nice. A couple of R words. I wonder if there are 26 pages in my spellbook. Like a shawl? Yeah, I guess so. It's not like a... a terrifying noise. Some variation of a tunic? Robin rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. Or die trying. I mean, wait, I don't write that this. down. Right, Firefly? Right? Uh, Firefly? Firefly, you believe in me, right? No, I'm just kidding. We got this! But she could not believe in herself? Oh. The creeping terror. Don't say creeping terror, they're gonna send something behind me. The earth oh. yawned below her. It was bored of my adventure already. I tease, I'm certainly not. Hup. And then we duck down here. This thing, wait a minute. Is that just to indicate that I can get down here? Or do you think I can repair this fire flame? Uh, there, you stay there. Yeah, to make sure the mountain doesn't fall this on me. Or this tree doesn't fall on me. Yeah, still not comforting. It was as scared as she was. Oh. Wait, how do you know that? Oh, jeez. With nobody around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. <laughs> Not on my watch. I got a magic locket and a magic spellbook. Okay. Blaze crackled ahead. I didn't get subtitles for that voice, and it came from behind me. I thought someone was literally behind me in the room. I've never seen a flame like that before. Yikes! Can I interact? I eh, just walk into the fire, I guess. Oh, but okay. These are whoa! Extinguish. Oh, I lost it. Okay. No, 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 not you yet. Silly thing. Now you can go. All right, I don't think this is going to be a satisfying slide with all the destruction. We... Oh, okay, you have the option not to slide. This is no time to enjoy yourself. The sacred can I just... Can I literally just... On hang on. Oh, I can't extinguish anymore. That's right. I just lost it. Lay silent on the ground. Not anymore. It, oh, repair. Repair. It's your new one. I want you to use the new one. Ah! Not repaired enough. There we go. Kick those legs! It's just a little broken. It's still good.
For all the good it will do. Oh no. No, no, no. Where are these butterflies? I fix. I fix. How do I fix? Repair. Fireflies? Repair. Please be here. Please be here. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Dreadful realization on Robin. On repair. Oh no, it's gonna turn into despair. A new determination rose in her. She would find. Oh! I mean, they were gone. Wait. Uh, are we gonna try to put the fires out in the village or just take off? You are the guardian of the fireflies. I'm not gonna be searching for revenge. Let's just be real literal. The fireflies. And you're gonna find them. Something took the fireflies. Wait, if you walk into this repair thing, are you gonna like Benjamin Button into a young young lady? Hold still, I almost got all the cancer. Don't give up hope. I'll get the fireflies back. Heck yeah. I'll get the knowledge. I'll get the revenge. I'll get the fireflies. She's got like the grand shawl. The super tunic. That thing turns into a cape at the bottom. It's actually what the elders wear in uh, Dark Crystal, it looks like. She was a little more hunched over and had a tail. Go. Oh. And may the love of this village guide you. Always. Thanks, I, I guess. Robin took a deep oh. breath. She knew what she had to do. She was the guardian. She would bring the fireflies back home. Rough first day as guardian, I gotta say. The earth could fall away beneath her. Uh oh. But she would not. Okay. He stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. Oh. Alright, we're getting this adventurous, so now we're sliding again. Exhilarating. Wondrous and terrifying. Okay, where does where does the terror come in? At her side, and hope in her heart, and gas in her stomach. But things were about to get worse. And lice in her hair. Much, much worse. What the crap? Looks like a pterodactyl. Dragon. Robin would wow. Not slow down. I can't wait to see that dragon design. Not for crumbling paths. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to repair this. Hang on. I was happy to just jump over it. Not when I can do this. Check this out, everybody. I fix. I fix. Ha ha. Not for giant monsters. Why don't we do anything for that now? She would make it answer to her. No matter what. Is... Is the dragon's name Stroke? She would catch the dragon. No way! Oh no, don't go chasing the dragon. That's totally different. Don't deal with your grief that way. She raised oh no. Forward. Uh huh. And... Watched it fly away? Am I supposed to get you? What do you want me to do here? Oh, okay. I knew there would be a leap, but I thought I could like augment myself first or something. Fair enough. Hello, Jano. Oh, jeez. We went to see Gran today. Oh, look at all our post-it note sketches. Who's that? That must be Stroke, the Dragon Master. In the hospital. Hmm. Okay. We left Ben to chew on our neighbor's curtains. Ben's our little brother. It looked like... a big gray oh. fortress. Hmm. Oh, that's depressing. That's like a prison. It took us a while to find the right... Uh, name. not weed. Chasing the dragon is, I think, a heroin metaphor. Dad let me... Or, no, door. opium, maybe? It might. There might be because of the, like, uh, East Asian... 
uh, connection there. Dragons and whatnot. It is definitely something much harder than just marijuana, for sure. That let me open the door. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see Gran. Stay strong, Isabel. Just like Robin would. Okay, we gotta get to that little thing. I think I can jump there from here. There. <laughs> For some reason, I couldn't quite hit, hit the uh, little open thing, because that would have also acted as a platform, or should have. Oh, so they... Nothing like the hospice oh. when she was in. Yeah. Okay, Lying she just has an IV in though. That's all right. She looked so small. She could be in a lot worse shape. I don't remember oh. her being that small. Aww. Grand's eyes were open, but she struggled to. Oh, I gotta find it. Where are you? Find the right words. She just couldn't. Oh, I have to choose here? Is this like severity? I know these are all sort of. I'm gonna go speak. No, uh, that's like. Well, speak is probably connected to think. Breathe is like respiratory problems. Speak and think are more like brain stuff. Ah, I got I'm gonna go speak. I guess they're all terrible, but oh dear. Speak properly. The doctor said it was called dysphagia. Oh. It was caused by the stroke. That's cool, because I know for a fact that had I picked any of the other two, it would have this would have changed and it would have just explained what it was and stuff. Okay. Taking the stigma out of hell, a family member having a stroke. So this is definitely a game that's gonna help us process some grief. She's usually so talkative, but now she kept stopping. Aw. Mid sentence. As if all the words she could find would just out of reach out of Boink. reach i could see it really frustrating her and she tutted like she does when she's annoyed hmm i would i would think so and then grand started coughing mm. they put an oxygen mask on her Ah, oh, that was what I was afraid of when we saw her in the bed. I thought she was going to be all, like, oxygen masked up, etc., etc. Hopefully they don't intubate her. All right, let's put an oxygen mask on Gran. Here you go, I Gran. I told her she looked like... Darth Gran. There you go. <gasps> oh. We're going to make Darth Gran over here. I thought we were going to drag it over. Ha ha ha! Here we go, Darth Gran. Don't give in. That reminds me of Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema. A long, long mm. time ago, when Mum was my age. Mm-hmm. Epic. A grand story. Gran and Mum went to see my oh. favorite movie. <laughs> Mum fell asleep. Boink. Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're going to watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. Hmm. Manage your expectations, kiddo. There you and go. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. Well, that looks fun. I'm playing a game, I think. Oh, I have to do this. Okay. I can't wait. 
This time, I'll be all her high scores. For sure. Not quite a bullet hell, but this game's more about the experience than the difficulty curve. Gran's a tough cookie. Yeah, this is a fairly recent game, so unfortunately she's in hoping that Gran game? hangs on to see the end of the Skywalker saga. And I gotta Everywhere tell you, else. might be better off just not. Uh oh, this is bad news. I heard Mom crying in her room. Yeah, that's bad news. You can tell how icky it looked. I've never seen her cry before. Uh, trying to keep her spirits up as best she can. She looked so sad. Oh. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea. Oh, um, uh oh. Okay, um. This, this gotta be a proper order of operations, right? Because, like, will this, this won't curdle the milk or whatever? I, I think you do the bag last, from what I remember. Oh. I have to fill this up first. Sorry, let me get out of the way. Stay off the hot plate. All right, this is kind of the only place for me. Okay, let's do this. I feel like uh, steeping the tea is the last thing you do. I'm not a hot beverage drinker, so I don't know for sure. But I feel like there's an order of operations here. I'm trying to be uh, respectful of it as best I can. Okay, so almost there. Now you got uh, some hot, milky water and then go to tea. Have Just a cup of she said. Oh wait, can I wipe away tears? Okay, no. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Uh phew. Sometimes I can't tell if I can jump on it or not. Oof! Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Hmm. Everything is going to be fine. Hmm. All you need. Yeah, Nate. So I'm trying to honor the UK tea prep, is which is proper thing? instead of the US. Listen, as part of the colonies, uh, I have to Will rep. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Ah. Uh, of course, she'll be fine. Oh. Fine. Okay, so we're choosing we're choosing happiness. We're choosing to stay Gran optimistic. Is going to get better, right? No, but we're gonna we're gonna delusionally be optimistic smile. about it. That should help. Oh, this poor girl's gonna get her heart real broke. Let's maybe the third one. Oh, we don't have a third one. Mum needs me to. There you go. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading. I it. wonder what happens if you go negative. I hope it helps. What else can I do? At least the... yeah, I guess. I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? Here we go. After the dragon attacked the village, Robin set out to find the fireflies, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to... a vast Link. desert. Mmm, desert. With a guardian. Guardian. Whoa, okay. Who got okay. it because it is... His house. We're invading his privacy. His home. In peace and quiet. Hup. He just wants us to leave him alone. And so... Robin had pursued we must combat one another. Far, far from home. Oh my. It's a scorcher, lady, and you're still gonna... Alright. Hope that thing breathes. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of... Dune. Timeless 
and bewildering. Easy must flow. A glow Robins. in the sand. I'll get you safe. What? All of a sudden I have 20 things on my boobs. Okay. Okay. Some of those are gonna be Another hidden. Firefly. Escape from the dragon's grass. Hey there, little one. You're safe now. Where okay. does wind suddenly come from? There was something very unnatural about it. Leave of faith, like you keep telling me. Wait, I hope there aren't any fireflies up here. I guess I can't really tell. Too steep. Okay, get on that. Rise and repair. A little wind won't stop me. Rise above. She kind of just pauses on her own. Why wouldn't you? During the on, uptick in wind. Hold on. All right, Nate. Thanks for the lurk, buddy. Another leap of faith. Oh, down we go. Okay. Am I somehow supposed to be able to get all twenty of them easily, though? Because that was me not jumping. We it stopped. Someone's down there. Hello. Hey there. Hello, friend. Who are you to come in here making all that noise? My desert was peaceful. Tranquil. With all the roaring winds and stuff? So you're causing the wind. It's great fun, but have you seen a dragon blow by? Go away! <laughs> you are Stay out! But Robin's will would not break that easily. Oh, new thing. Papa! I got hey, new power. Come back here! I'm gonna break something. Break you off a piece. I really need your help. Break your concentration. Break those winds. <gasps> Break those winds. Are you serious? Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 Hehehehe. <laughs> Gee, I, I really hope I didn't leave one behind off that first jump. Eh. Hi there. Whoever you are. Go away. Go away. I can't. I have to find the. Go away. I wonder if there's ever okay. going to be a situation where I have to do more than one of these words in combination. There's no health bar, as long as, as I don't fall too far into something that'll definitely destroy me. I should be okay. Mr. Grumpy Pants out. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Home to wondrous life. Easily scared. Uh, can I break you? That's fun. Maybe I can freeze it or something later. Ha! Oh, more breaking. One skill at a time. Oh, I wonder if I do this in a certain order. Watch out for your head! I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Debris can fall anywhere. Robin felt like an explorer. Oh, okay. Uncovering the unknown. <laughs> Far below the rolling dunes. 
Dunes. We dune it. Maybe sand swimming oh. desert pirates or one eyed troglodytes. I hope not. Okay, that's something I need to grab, but do I need to grab it first or. Yes, I need to grab it first. You got it! I just need to see how tall that was without me. Eh. Okay, whoops. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. Hello, little friend. All right, that looks like a repair if I ever saw one. Repia! Interesting. Deep under the desert sands, Robin found. Oh, that's a rise. Got it. Break rise. Rise break. Gotten chamber. The plants recoiled at the sound of her footsteps. How do I make them silent then? Ooh. I know they're shy, but I don't know how if they're already shy, my like grabbing what I can only assume is like their tongue is gonna be okay. I guess it depends what power I eventually find out. Broken remains. I need to use greatness. Okay, not anymore. Oh, it's a hot dog. Oh, I thought he was preparing a hot dog. But he is, in fact. Silence of the ages ah, there we go. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> huh? Huh? Silence? Huh? I get it. Whoa. A little booble. A little Marco Buble of silence. Wait, can I go all the way back now? There were a couple at the beginning of this thing. Or these plants, that is. Mind you, they just might have been put there to demonstrate that at some point I would have to deal with them. Come on! Up we go! See you later. Now, is that also a, a repairable piece of... Oh, hang on. First this. Uh-huh. For 8 out of 20. And then, is this, is this another rye situation? No, not wrong. Wrong word, sir. Ah, the sand itself. The very sands themselves shall rise. Yes. Yes. Yes, continue to rise. Sorry, everything below me. You are buried once more. Foul tempered voice drifted down to Robin. Hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, this guy. Rude. It's just rude. Crude. Sounds like the crow from the Watership Down cartoon. The old one. Can I just shut you up? You. You shall go no further. You leave my me alone in my cone of silence. <laughs> I really hope it's break. Break those winds! Ah. Silence is infernal tootlin'. There you go. Word magic. Robin had disarmed the djinn. His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very small. <laughs> but the desert guardian would not let it rest. This is a violation! Hey! Stop it! <laughs> I'll just leave this up. Oh no. What do I need to do here? Rise? Break didn't do anything. Heh. I 
thought it said rise. No, that's not gonna do it either. How about... <laughs> Silence once more. Silence this rock. I guess technically I can break these or something. Do I need to? Okay, what if I just... Oh, wait, I'm getting it wrong. What if I just technically go break? I'm just go boom, 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 boom. I'm, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm assuming it might have those little little fellers, little fairies in there. Okay, I'll just keep this close then. When needed. I need to find the dragon. Chasing that dragon. Don't you get that? I really don't have time for this. Where'd you go? Oh, it looks like they gave up. So long. So. <laughs> Woo, Woo and then who? Well, we got rid of sulky boots again. Yes, grumpy pants yeah. and sulky boots. What's Quite the outfit. This? What's As all this event? Around this lonely, desolate place. Robin hmm. wondered. It looks just as lonely and desolate as the rest of the desert we've been going through. Just has more of these formations. More of these, whatever these are. There had been people here. Yeah, we're going into a Zelda Once Two temple. Upon a time. What happened to them? Who were they? Hello. We eleven. Maybe Can I go in here? Answers here. The Aha. dome was empty, but for a pool of water. An inviting place to rest. Eh. This is a place to save? That can't be right. Robin's thoughts drift oh. to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have been... Merchants. Merchants. Oh. Whoa. Cool. A distant right. roar roused Robin from her thoughts. Splish splash. Invisible wall. I can't even splash in the water. But all right. Now they have... Bowls of yes. delicious looking fruit. Oh. Tag! <laughs> I just want to see if I can get to the other side of this door. Can I jump over it? Is it another invisible wall? It's an invisible wall. That's all I wanted to test. Just cause. Alright. Now we go this a wise. Oh, by the by, I've come to understand that it takes about five hours in total to go through this whole game. So we're probably going to be breaking at about the two, ha two and a half hour mark for tonight so that we can finish this sucker up on the last day of January next Monday. So, do, do, do. See, she agrees. Kneel twice if you agree. Point, point. That's it. Z's, and then we the break that. Robin. That's cool. So these, this layer here with the fruit basket that I can just walk over that I'm technically in front of, that, I guess, changes depending on your previous answer. I like that they put a little customization into all this stuff. Helps you feel like you're building the story. I already want to, or I'm thinking about, at the very least, going through um, the game again and, and choosing like despair as like she finds out about the stroke of, that her grandma has and she just loses it like spirals immediately just to see what the differences would be in terms of tone and uh, and such dialogue that sort of thing like that to me is the reason to replay a game if the entire if the character in and of themselves uh, changes how they interact with the story Okay, so I know I need to go this way. 
because it's giving me a lot of uh, new words here. So let me go back to the front and see if I do a quick sweep down below everything. Let me get rid of that book. There we go. Uh, if I go down here, if there's any more of these little firefly friends first, or if this is just going to be an endless chasm, let's find out. Chasm! Okay. Chasm it is! Just checking, because I know I have to collect a certain number, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know if it's a score thing. Merchants. Or if I have to Architects restore of prosperity. all of them. Fall before me! Huh! <laughs> Crumble beneath the might of my words. But behind Robin, a grumpy mumbling could be heard. The grumpy oh. mumbler. Oh, him again. A C-tier Batman Let's villain. Move. The grumpy mumbler. He just kind of like walks behind Batman when he's on patrol and is like, you sure you can't just like, can't you just process? Can't you just get over your parents' death? It's just, you're gonna do this for the rest of your life, this is it? At the ready. I wonder if I get six in total. Ready to silence this fool. Nope. We can share. I also the do magic. The Guardian was frantically looking for Robin. Don't work twice. Stop hiding from me. I hide from no one. It won't work. Stop that. If I just make myself silent. Wouldn't he? Easy. Peasy and then a little bit of lemon squeezy. Oh, it's delightful. Despite the darkness, Robin's hope guided her. Hope? Is that going to be one of my words of power? I'll take that. It's a spell word. I apply hope! Suddenly, the villain has changed their tune. I don't know if I need to go down or up, but we're going to explore, because I have a handful of little fairy friends to find. Success! Alright, how many more after this? Five more! I hope they're all down here. Hope, hope, hope. Let hope guide you up. Oh, all right, dead end. I thought that was still like an entrance to something. I mean, you can still kind of, kind of see. <gasps> that seems icky. What's down here? Ickiness. Wait. Very interesting. Yeah, hope is one of my words. Excellent. Huh? Basically turning my little fairy friend into a flashlight. One sec there while I hydrate. Huh? Ain't I great? Time to hydrate. All right, I was expecting more of those little things. Now, oh, can't do hope anymore. All right, not a permanent skill. Doing, doing. What if I hit Y? What does Y do? Nothing. Ah, uh, break! I break you. Oh, okay. In order to use them, I need to remain silent so they don't hear me and get nervous. Ah! See? I got nervous. Stay here, stay here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Huh. I'm still worried that I missed the first one. It must leave. It must. They mustn't know. They mustn't know what? Hmm. What are you uh, doing? Now I'm curious. What are you up to that you shouldn't be? I can't silence that thing to death, but I can break it. Silence break. Now, am I to assume there's nothing up here? Let's try some. What if I repaired you now? 
doesn't exist anymore. Okay, put that up there. What about Rise? Nothing here, nothing here. Okay, we're moving on. Like every gamer instinct is obviously telling me to, hey, look for secrets, but it's kind of also fairly what straightforwardly laid out in front of me. Well, that's easy. I just break that. No, 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 no. What has you so worked up, old windbag? The past. The past. It stays hidden. It the past must. stays hidden. Okay. I mean, he went this way, but that's what I thought. So they are kind of hidden. Because now I have to go all the way around again. Some of them are, at least. Getting close, though. Okay, you stay there. Eh. Oh, oh, oh I'm no longer in control. Days. So little left. Best forgotten. Look, whatever it is you don't want me to see, I'm sure we can... No, 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 you cannot go further. Back! Come on, now. I get him to listen. Put a statue back together behind him with my wonderful abilities. Would she be How a indeed? Statue or a parrot? Wait, why wouldn't I repair it? Wait, first off. Uh Thank you. Give me off of this. Can you allow me? I did miss one. I had to have, right? Oh, can I break this instead then? Come on, yo. I'm a simple man. Yeah. So I'm gonna be one short, aren't I? If this is the end of it. So that's 18 and this is 19. Shucks. Whee! Yeah, 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 I see ya. Don't worry about that. I already broke something on the screen, so instead I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you, because I'm a nice person. I just wanna collect my friends and get out of here. We could have come to an arrangement. You could have just helped me look for them, and uh, you wouldn't have to grumble through this whole level. Human creature. You. Say it. You fix for you. I fix for you. I fix. You rebuilt my statue. Why? You aren't listening. But you look calmer now. I... I'm sorry. I do understand. Why show pity to me? I did nothing to aid you. Everyone deserves a second chance. Or a tenth. Not everyone deserves a tenth. What's happened here? What like at that do? point, you kind of have to admit someone's getting pulling the wool over your eyes if you're giving them chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. Depending on what they really, really mean to you. I failed. Hmm. More than ten times. Let me show Eleven. You. At least twelve. Oh, I look so depressed every time he turns around. Okay, so still the possibility to get one more of my little fairy buddies? Fingers crossed. I can stop thinking about that first jump that I took, and if I if I jumped too far. Oh. Cone of silence. Let me please let me climb. I'm hitting jump. I promise. There we go. Wee plunk. Uh. Oh. Hang on. What do we got here? You, uh. 
Wait, you burned everything down with a, like a cruel lightning storm? That sounds seems terrible. I was once worshipped here. It was wonderful. Okay. But I grew complacent. Arrogant. Arrow. They warned me that great dangers were coming. Mm. And what did you do? Nothing. I believed that there was no danger I could not thwart. I was wrong. Hey, take the price. Was it another dragon? My being here must have brought back painful memories. That is as it should be. To feel something, even pain, after all this time. For that, I thank you. For whatever reason, he feels like a Babylon 5 character. I don't need your thanks. But I do need to know if you've seen a dragon around here. It has come and gone. But there is something you should know about that beast. What about it? Oh, what was too that? late. I'm gonna have to fall first. I can't select repair before it breaks. Oh! Safety bubble. Is that a new word? Bubble. my friend. Knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely. Than I oh no, I did get 19 out of 20 of them. Oh no, I feel terrible. Can I skip to the end? If I just have to go back for that one? Drat. Hello, Jano. Today at school, I got my history essay back. I wrote about Vikings. I love Vikings. Okay, so they probably didn't have horned hounds. Mr. Collins. Uh, didn't little Skyrim like me going over here. D. I won't be showing this to Mom. Can I burn it? No. Wait, can I burn it? Yes, I can. What are you doing? There you go. Oh my. So did you just not do a good job? Did you like make up a whole fantasy story about them instead? The instead? They're tall and strong. Well, probably they're probably tall and probably strong. Definitely strong. They love conquering. Who doesn't? I and don't. Fire. Who wants to conquer all the time? Vikings are basically all kinds of awesome. I could really use some awesome right now. Hmm. I got her old photo album out. I wanted to see Gran like I remember her when she was awesome. Oh, there we go. I can't actually use the whole thing. It's centered on the actual uh, circle, not the big piece of paper I'm holding. Got it. Did I do it? But every time I close my eyes, I see her in that horrible bed. We're visiting the hospital later today. Hmm. When we arrived, Gran was asleep. Her skin looked so thin, almost see-through, like tissue paper. She was grand shaped but empty. I mean, that's silly, right, Journal? It's just Gran. But somehow it isn't. It's not her! Uh-oh. She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Why? Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair. Why, Journal? How am I supposed to deal with this? Well, how old is Graham? Anything. Hmm. 
like what she wants to eat? Can what she not she write it down? Like you're literally using a journal. And what's worse, everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her, but they're not. You're doing fine, Barbara, the doctor said to her. You just need some time. Hospitals should make you better. She's so ill now. Oops. I want her better now. Just wait. Time is a healer. I thought that was his job. I wish I could help her. It makes me so mad. Wait, this one went away. <gasps> was that like a... Oh! Oh, no! I'm choosing the negative path. I just needed to wait to get this one. Ah. Yeah, by being rash through this uh, journal, I accidentally took... Chose a negative path. Not all the way through, though. Okay. Starting to get angry about it. And the jacket potato. But when Gran tried to eat by herself, she kept dropping her cutlery. Oh, that's why she can't write. Never mind. Mum had ordered her mushroom soup. Mushroom. Gran calls them nature's bogeys. Oh, they didn't like hearing that. Get them. Wait, what do I do with these? Oh. Get rid of them, maybe? Nobody wants those. Nobody wants your mushrooms. These ones are stuck, probably. Oh dear. Eh, eh. There. You take that one. I'll push this one over here. There, how's that? It's like mom doesn't even know her. Well, you're kind of distracted I with your journal here. Mom about the mushrooms. She got that look and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing. Mom face. But looking at Gran, I had to help her. Still had some loose change. So I ran down to the entrance hall where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. Here, take them coins. Is that an Excellent. egg salad sandwich? Hurrying back to 305, I couldn't help but grin. Hang on. Your solution to try to make your grandmother feel better is a hospital vending machine egg salad sandwich of all the choices. Why not get her a packet of crisps and open them up? They didn't let me back in. Uh-oh. Adult talk. Wait outside. Uh-oh. That's what they said. This is going to get worse. So I waited on a bench until Mum came out the room. She said nothing just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Hmm. Dad had made pies for tea. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. Get that pie out of here. I said Not today. Gran wasn't going to eat. Neither would I. That's he no sent good. me to my room. That's no good. I 
slammed the door really loudly and flumped onto my bed. Flumped? I still had the egg sandwich. Yeah. In your pocket? It was all mushed up. Yeah. Everything is all mushed up. Ellipses. Ellipses. Oh, jeepers. Okay. Mushed. Get mushed. Dad is Leap mean. of faith. Never Mom mind. doesn't care. And Pi is stupid. Let's not get let's not get crazy Maybe here. I should just try to write my story. Let's not blame Pi. Alright. Last time, Robin was plunging down into the dark below. But the gin spell slowed her fall. Down and down she went. Oh, fuck. Tumbling. Helpless. Then and there, Robin started to... Uh, cry. She seems like she needs to have a good cry about it. But the darkness didn't care. Ugh. Here we go. As Robin hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness Don't hurdle no yourself. made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated, mm. angry. Grr. She wanted answers. And answers she would have. Eventually. How old is this lady? This young girl, and why are we not the treating her like an adult? Yeah, this is gonna be another to one out of twenty. I just know now it. Where am I? Oh gosh. If there's a level of a select or something later. Hey. Ah, jeez. All right, so I'm missing one already. Kapow. The ground I guess I'll just warm to the touch. That keep this ahead of me here. Oh. Just my luck. Well, don't yell about it. You could knock more rocks loose with the and reverberations what and whatnot. Molten stone. She'd seen nothing like this in her forest home. I really miss fooling around with the village kids. Come on. Smack. A stalactite hung above, looking decidedly precarious. None of this seems welcoming. None at all. Be careful! What is this? Oh. Uh, over here. Down now. There we go. It's the timing portion of the platforming. Something was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the Whoop. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ah, oh, that'd be between Something them. Something was unnerving about the pendulous nature of the ceiling. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Ah, oh. all right, touching Something them at all, huh? Was Oh, so close. Hey! Oh, I can almost brush it with my forehead. Hey, hey, ah! Are you serious? None of them? Hey! Oh, so close. Something over here, maybe? Oh, maybe it's closer. Better, yeah. Slightly closer. Better angle. Okay, so literally just keep this running. I don't disagree. Oh, 
Just grab it. You ding dong. Just grab it. Need to find whatever is causing this and stop it, or I'll be smushed. Yeah, we don't want anyone getting smushed. No smushies. There you go. As the sound got closer. Boom. Robin realized she would soon face its maker. Who's booming? Who's making all these boom booms? Hey. Okay. Whoop. Here we go. Okay. Oh, hello. It's Fire Princess. Fire and flame wrapped her form. Or Flame Princess. Hey! Flame Princess. Stop that! You'll bring the whole cave down. I do what I want. That's just but her anger. Test. That's her rage. Is it? I'm so angry. How dare you take my grandmother from me? It's not like I might die over here. Hmm. At least that noise has stopped. Has it? Uh, break maybe? Whoop. The okay. lava gently bubbled. The lava as if gently mocked bubbled. The lack of progress. Sure. Who needs rise anymore? Is this a two parter? I broke you and now I leave you? Oh, or do I wait? I wait! Break. Break the bats. No! Haha! -ha. That's okay. Totally worth it. I got my friend. I got my friend. I needed that. Papau. Papau numero dos. Hey. Okay, like I was just supposed to know that would happen, I guess. No, oh, I need this one. Break! I like that we have, I can have one instance of each on the screen at one time. Come on, baby. There we go. Did that help it? Maybe. Possibly. Give way. Oh, I can't. Slow fall. Whoop. Ah! Slow fall. Right. Not listening or ignoring. I don't care. I have to stop her. Inside Robin was a white hot rage. Hmm. Breaking stuff. Uh oh. Whoa. Hey, you. Hey. Get up on my you cloud. You nearly killed me. Hey, are you listening? Me. Me. I am. 
Rawr. No, 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 no. That's not fair. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Stuff. Yeah. Oh, another case of raw. Bra -ra um, might have overdone this. He barely did anything. You're not in charge of her temperament. I really need to get out of here. Sure do. A timely exit. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Robin didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. Sheesh indeed. So angry. The thought stuck with Robin. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Whew. I think I need a breather. Oh. A place to rest. Robin okay, so now I'm gonna choose something again. The burn of loneliness. I can burn stuff. New skill. No, no, I'm trying to grab this burn thing. Break burn. All at once. Okay, now I can ignite things. Like this fancy stuff over here. Robin's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? Alone. Imagine being stuck oh, in sorry. a cave. All by yourself. No, no, no. You feel alone because you're closest to your I grandmother and you're about to lose her. And she's, you know, alone in her own body right Robin now, which is probably terrible. To be more understanding. Yeah, like you have the troubles that your folks are going through over if this, I'm sure. Again. Eh, okay, I can go this way now, finally. Burn! I wonder if, if I can put that over a person and they'll just, like, devastatingly insult them. As the light e equals MC squared. I saw that. Pushed back the darkness. A heaviness lifted from her heart. Uh-oh! Run away! Exploding mushrooms! That was cool. Oh, I gotta do this part first. Okay, so. First we break these. Ha ha. Huh? Uh. Alright. When do, how do I burn y'all? I burn. I burn. No good? Maybe later. Oh, I, it has to, like, touch the floor? Nope. Uh, oh, is it this? Nope. How do I know where it actually... Oh, way over here. Run, 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 run! What a race! Uh. Uh. doom Yeah, we're going to blow up whatever we can, because it's fun. Yeah. Like everything around us right now. Uh. Uh. You didn't think this through, did you? Not even a little bit. I can't move her, so hang on. Hold still. Jeez, that was close. Robin was adrift on the current. Without Kay. control. Lost on the flow of lava. Flowing. Just letting things happen. It would take her where it wished. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Up. That's not good. The 
burning river went faster. Did it? And oh, faster. maybe now. There we go. A little bit. How do I get you? Yeah. Dude, it. 20 out of 20. Perfect restoration. At least for this level. Hi there. Uh, Remember us? Okay, Robin. Remember. Empathy. You. Hi. You again. Us again. She isn't listening. We're gonna need run, to run this Robin. way. Run. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Get this ready just in case. No! Shook the me lava! Up. Yikes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Ah, so fast! Whoa, that was close. Holy moly, how did I not singe my clothes? Run! Debris was flying everywhere. She's really speedy. I'm glad they're not making me do any other uh, magic tricks at the same time. Mind you, that might be upcoming. I can't change the pace of this thing, so... Is there something I can do to calm you down? Freedom. Horrible, horrible freedom. <gasps> Fine, run away, just like everyone else. Oh no, you jerk. You have to hash this out once and for all. She put her foot down. She's mad about it. <laughs> you look. You look what. Y I've done. We're trapped, and it's all your fault. I hate this place, and I hate you. Hmm. Firm but fair. I hate you. Her anger no! consumed itself. Huh? What happened to you? No, no. Don't feel so angry now. Okay, I don't understand why or why not. What's there to be angry about? I wouldn't squash me if I were you. Think of the mess. The smell. You'd probably be like cooked at the same time the though. So she would just probably like sh eat you very quickly. As her anger left, it brought a change. She wasn't a giant at all. She was a tiny marshmallow. He did it again. Lump's anger gone. Lump? Did you sat alone? Lump? Nice to meet you. I love your song. I'm Robin. I love your song. Sorry I was so angry. Lump sorry too. Lump scares Lump when Lump's so big. Okay. Is this like the lump of anger in your... This is like the pilot light of anger and like righteous fury that lives within us all. A little lump. See you later. Oh, whoa, you melted them to nothing. That's badass and it took no time at all. That's terrifying power you wield. Come back and share it with me. I'm looking for a dragon. Oops. Have you seen it? What? Dragon? I'll show you. But first, we need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I says. Just then, Robin noticed a boom shroom she hadn't seen before. A boom shroom. And so, we ignite it. See you later, everybody. I'm gonna blow this, blow this wall apart by standing next to it. I'll be all right. We did it! We're free! Free! <laughs> Lumping me forever. Team Lump. 
Lump can't go with you. Lump! You coming? Nope. Not Doesn't look like it. Robin. Oh. I guess so then. I thought maybe he was going to have to stay there and do a little speech about how he belongs in the cave or something. Try to keep your anger low and inside you until know? you can find other ways to express yourself. But Say, sure. Sarah at school told me. Her granddad had a stroke too. Oh, okay, so they're trying to. You His know. mouth went lopsided. Yeah, that can happen. And he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around, watching the telly. <laughs> hmm. I don't think right. Gran would enjoy that. They told him there's nothing to be done. Is this like an indictment of the NHS as well? Feel like she was giving up. She'd want to keep moving, keep doing things. Grand like are they just not good at treating said. strokes in the UK? I gotta tell you, uh, you're. Grand might be a little bit full of it on this this front. The world your kindness, and it will return it threefold. The more positive energy and kindness you give the world, the more you get back. A superhero of kindness. I mean, that's a really good theory, but when uh... Mister Parry's lawn got too high, Grand cut it for him. Here we go. For the community center meals. She baked cakes. Hmm. Multiple cakes. Lots and lots and lots she of cakes. Even does the unthinkable. What does that mean? She changed Ben's smelly oh. nappies. Got it. We could do with kindness right now. Someone better step up. Me! Hmm. Super you! Starting with... Bringing world peace? Cooking Maybe for the elderly? Smaller. Wouldn't want to poison them. Lawn. I doubt he let me use the lawnmower. That's a good start. There you go. There you go. Bringing order to chaos. Trying to make a sense of it all. struggle needs a suitable tagline. It's tidying time. Oh, hang on. Let me just stay over here. Und now we tidy. Boink, boink. Everything in its place. Kitty stays where they are. Oh, trash. Okay, tidy, tidy. Oh, oh I'm sorry, kitty. I did not want that part. I did not want that to be part of the, the tidying. Oh, we can go. Hup. Everything's all straightened up. And then I did the washing up from breakfast. Nice. Without even being asked. Ah. Uh, oh, am I meant to gather? Clean. Dad said. Boop, 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 boop. Hang on. Let me do all the cleaning first. Then we can check out what your dad said. There you go. I mean, they did clean, rinse, and dry all in one thing, but that's okay. Ugh. It's a miracle. Then oh. He bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty head, but right. made mum laugh. And when we got to the hospital later, Gran was sitting in a chair and looking out the window. Is she that was better smiling. or that's so good? All the things I've been doing have been working. Sure, Izzy B. Cook, miracle worker extraordinaire. I mean, sure. I just have to do more. Just gotta stay positive. 
No matter what happens. There was kale for tea. This is gonna be one of those things where Grandma had a good day. Which is and it's not of gonna... vegetable torture. But I told myself. Wait, why do I need torture? I guess I need it. <clears throat> but if I could eat all of it, then Grandma would be even better tomorrow. The only problem I have ever had with kale is that if you serve it like just as a fresh leafy vegetable, it takes so long to eat. Oh my gosh. But like, you know, blended in something or like cooked or whatever, or just kale chips, which are supposed to be like a crunchy snack. Uh, no problem with it whatsoever. It's just like in its purest form, just as kale. Oh yeah, I absolutely understand why people wouldn't like it because it takes forever to chew through those leaves. Do I have to torture the kale? What do I have to do here? Ooh. Okay. Ah! Every last soggy leaf. Oh, was it like boiled? Done. Alright, you, you tried. I am on fire today. I ran up the stairs two at a time just to top things up pinky uh, was very impressed quick uh red gnarly fact i always take like if i go up the stairs i usually take them two at a time just because my natural gait is kind of like stair and a half so i just kind of like round up anyway and slept on my feet all night Boink. oh hello pinky you're the one thing in the picture that has no pink on it. Warm ball of well-earned recognition. Excellent. Uh oh. Hello again, it journal. Uh oh. I couldn't sleep. Okay, phew. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Oh no! Don't immediately abandon it. Well, Dad. Dad cares. Maybe your parents care for sure. Whoa! But does any of this really make a difference? It's just. Hey. Power of positive thinking. If there's a sliver of a chance. Anything that can help. It actually does. It's not like they're going to let you do anything that actually if, like will directly affect her medical condition. So sending more love and doing well and just trying to even. keep yourself together. Absolutely. Boink. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Sarah told me that when her granddad was sick, she used to pray. I don't exactly know how that was. Made him better, she said. But hmm. best to hedge my bets. Please. All right. Please. 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 Please, make Granwell. Who's, who's Manuel? Boop, 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 boop. Sarah's family are pretty religious. Yeah, I would have thought. Not like mom and dad. I don't know that much hmm. about religion, actually. I like the stories. Which one do you like best? About the one where the guy has to kill his son? After Especially murdering his whole family? Or maybe he spares him? And rescuing all the animals. Yeah, you just like the animals. That's different. Not the parts where he's doing it to cleanse the earth of all the sinners and is killing like 90% of the population. Just the animal bits. Gran was raised Catholic. But I never really heard her talk about God. Apart from... All the cursing. That time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco's. Yeah. We took care of the mess before the staff noticed. Oh, okay. It's all the people. Gran <laughs> even offered to pay for them. Ran quickly covered my ears. Ah, whoop. Eh. 
Düş. Uy. Meyle. I asked her once. She said if there is a god, there are not actions. Oink. How we help and love one another. Oink. 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 Seems Oink. right to me. So what should I do? Uh, continue to just be nice to people? I don't know. Meow. I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. Oh, there I we go. I it to her. Can I cheer I up? I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. Okay. If this leads us to a level, we might go... But first, I need to get on yeah, with the story. I was going to say. I think it's going to be technically like level three. Caves. Lump and Robin ventured into... Okay, so Lump's hanging out with us. Sweet. A tenebrous forest. Good word. Thanks, to Thesaurus. <laughs> Good Writing one. Writing Lump is going to be fun. Yeah, but wait a minute. You're taking a ball of fire into a forest. But if she's not so angry anymore... She might need another character flaw. Maybe... Hang out. Vacillate. Pernickety. Uh, sure, I don't know those ones. Kekothis, stop using Sosaurus, Izzy. Uncontrollable cravings for... Uncontrollable cravings for... Sweet fruit or... S Hang on. Worse than kale like your dad's gym socks. Stink fruit. Lump doesn't pucker. She's pure fire. Sour fruit. Heavenly taste with none of the calories. Sweet, Sweet fruits. Fruit. Okay, she likes fruit. Um, this might be, this will probably be the last level for tonight, which might be about the halfway point of the game, by my reckoning. So we'll do the Tenebrous Forest, and then we shall... <laughs> Gentle sunlight. Say goodbye Gentle from there. Are you just going to, like, hang out behind us? Yep. Maybe you're a baby son. That's the dragon. He spits you. We've got to follow it. Dragon. Yeah, quit dragon behind me. Let's go. We need to follow it. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Lump. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lump, no light follow anything that goes. Nothing back here. <laughs> Just checking. I like the little fire effects as he's. Sorry, excuse me, she's floating around back there. Lump well, sounds like they don't have a gender. They just sound like a thing. Okay, don't burn the trees down. Whoa. Hello? Oh, oh I'm not. I'm no longer in control. Claw things? They're just trees, Lump. Oh, okay. Talking about the branches. That's what? We know that, ben. Lump's voice is rather quiet. You're okay, Lump. Maybe I'll turn down the. Uh, hang on one second. This music's a little piercing. Turn that down once more. Back to game. The gray forest. Dark. Foreboding. Robin didn't care. Oh, you miss it? Yes. That's why I'm doing this. You miss home, but you leave it. Oh, I lost it. I can still do something, though, because I can put it back and get this. Get this! 1 out of 20 again. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. End of this level. We'll call it a day. See how many of the 20 we can get. If there's ever, ever a level select, I gotta go back to that first I desert level and find that 20th little firefly. Firefly. 
Rise, repair, and break. Up you go. Can I get up here? Hit. Nope. Okay. Maybe? Like a lizard? Oh, a really, really big lizard. A huge flying lizard that shoots you out of its face. Back up we go. Hello. Push it real good. Bum, ba -da, bum, bum. Ba -na 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 -na. Lump small. You used to be a lot bigger. How are you gonna get bigger if you don't try? I'm glad to have you Oh no, I was crushed. By it going into position. Best is human. Thank you. You've not really met that many, though. To be fair. To be fair. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Whoops, a doodle. And away we caboodle. Do, 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 do. Come on, Lump. Robin You're not going to burn these trees for me. You do something. Clear the underbrush. Scare some of the monsters in here because you're literally a being like you're a flame elemental. Her fiery friend was finding a place near and dear to her heart. <laughs> Suddenly, a strange sweet scent filled the air. <gasps> sweet fruits, your favorite. What nose is that smell? What is it, Lump? Where is your nose? Some kind of fruit. A fruit? Mm, yum yum. Fruit. Lump love fruit. Mm, that's nice. Like honey from back home. Wait. I can't let myself. Uh oh. We need to go. Now. But. But the fruit. Okay. But the fruit, though. Can I rise the fruit? Can I. Prepare the fruit? Can I break the fruit? No. The fruit shall not be broken this day. Gotta lead the fruits. Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. That's okay, you have a light source. Toppled trees. We're getting close. Splintered branches. Dragon claw marks. Oh, there's just showing me all the evidence. Look, Lum. Dragon fire. It's here. Yes. Uh oh. Dragon here. This cave. Now I'm still okay. <laughs> Just reassuring them themselves. I'm fine. I'm not gonna die via dragon. Lump trust, Robin. Us chase dragon. Whee! That's the spirit, Lump. We're near. I can feel it. Yes! Things are gonna change. I can feel it. Chukka, chukka, chukka. Um, Robin? Yeah. Not quite, but if you hold something and I hold the other end of it so that I'm not on fire, maybe you can just pull me across. A deep rift yawned before them. <sighs> no, 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 no. And yet, 
Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Give me that sweet fruit. Wasn't meant to happen. Give me that sweet fruit. The fruit had an irresistible draw on little lump. Mm. No lump, stay here. I need you. Lump still here, just busy. Robin felt her resolve melt. I need to find the dragon. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. What am I doing out here? All by myself? Silly human. Lump not left is in food. <laughs> Thanks, Lump. Yeah, Lump's got gotcha. you. She's having a nosh. Swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow. You okay, Lump? Ah, so that's what this does now. It goes to fruit, and then I swap positions with it. All righty, that's fun. Um, do I have to first like show you? Okay, there you go. What a rush! Boom! Low grade teleportation. Let's do it. I just have to hear the disgusting sounds of that creature eating, and then we're okay. Oof. Wee. Wee. That was amazing. Hip. <laughs> Whatever does it want me to do? Bloop. Great team. Oh. Sure thing. We down I go. Blunk. All right, me and my fairy powers and my little lumpy friend. Let's do it. Halfway. Once you swap, you can't stop. This Gotta be by now. Being no denied. Doubt. Wait. Constantly being denied fruit because when you approach it, I swap places with you is even better than eating the fruit? You live a complicated emotional life there, Lump. Oh. Something strong. Footprints. And very, very large. Had been here recently. Wait, is this going to be the last level? For fighting the dragon already? No, because it's. I think. I feel like she's gonna t try to take this this story to grandma, but it's, it might be too late. But she's gotta f like finish it anyway, maybe. It can't be this short. We just got lumped. Beast with little thought for her own safety. You won't get away from me again. I won't let you. Ah, no. So she deflated her anger, but it is present. It's with you. Like she's angry over the situation in general and the fact that she can't do anything about it. All right, I want to see this. What this thing looks like. What you doing? The dragon circled and dove. Dove. Fast. Yeah, where's it gonna land? Oof. No good. Who, man? Are you okay? Around, Robin realized the dragon had gone far, far below. Below? I... I... I don't know a lot about dragons and swimming. I can't... You can't swim? It's okay, human. We find dragon again. Have another go, right? Dot, dot, dot. Lump, help you find your dragon pal. I can't even fix it. Look! It's all over the place. Oh. You get on this, okay? Okay. 
You're gonna push it with your little lumpy body. Here I go. No need to push. I I don't even know where I'm going anymore. What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. We're pressing on. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You tried though, human. That's important. Look! One of them's little glowy things you like. Yay, friend. Is that number 13? 14, what are we up to? 14. Uh. A thing. You like things too, right? Whoop. Huh? That's hey. strange. Maybe there are some people Oh, jeez. I gotta start way over here. So, Lump, what do you like to do for fun when you're not I, chasing down dragons I with someone you just met? Oh, we're going to go over this again. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You try Give it a stern talking to. Woman. That's important. Okay. Pass the first one. Jump onto the second. A onto thing. this thing. You like a thing. Too, right? What's a thing? What thing? To what are you referring, tiny lump? Okay. Look! Stuff! Oh, just in general. There's lots of stuff. Forgotten. Much sad. Maybe dragon? Clumsy, clumsy. Clumsy, clumsy. I don't think dragon. Maybe. This is like a warp gate. Yes. Lump make fireball. You bring wood. Yes. Okay. I can do that. I can't just burn. Oh, there's nothing to burn. I guess. The voices seem much quieter than everything else. Thank you. Is that it? Worth it. That's a long way to go for one of those things. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Mm. This smells like the trees back home. But is it as good as fruits? Is it? Woman, is it? Where do you come from, Lump? Don't remember. You don't remember? Don't remember anything? Lump just remember anger. Ah, uh, oops. Then you, Woman. Just anger in you. Okay, so, wood. Here you go. Bust up a stump. Burn that. Okay. That should be enough. Okay. Here lump goes. Ancient energy stirred. We burned the sacred we tree. The place beyond. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Oh no, is this a somebody always lies, somebody tells the truth situation? What are we doing? Already. It's only been a few millennia. Is it not wonderful to see light again? To feel sun? 
I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. Who are you two? Weirdo alchemists? Oh, ancient ones. I thought you was a myth. Oh, no, no, my little friend. We are very real. Oh, forest creatures. Like forest gods? No, not. You're imagining us. Uh. Go away now. Now we're here. What can we do to help you? Plum, they could help us get to the dragon. Theoretically. But nothing is free in this market or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we? If help human, if it make human happy, luck say do it. I have a name. It's Robin. Okay, further so, investigation required. So lovely to see you both. So, what is this? Yeah. Of the lost and the forgotten. So lost and found. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. Ooh, okay. A lot of outdated iPhones. After a time, so were we. No one came here. No one sought us. A lot of aftermarket I tech. We would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. You said you could help. Yes, but to give. We must also receive. Mm -hmm. I don't have money. What would you like as an offering to your sacred flame? Give a kindness. Okay. Oh. I'll Oink. tell everyone about you. No one will ever forget you again. How kind How's that? To say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Okay. Something dear to your heart. Elder Ava gave me this. Is it going to be the locket or the book? The pendant. Yeah, okay. Don't give up that spell book. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting it. Okay. That was, of course, something her gran used to say. Oh, I have no, I have no, like, autonomy I here. It's just going to happen. And the pendant was gone in the flames. There it is. That's only one of three, though, as far as I understand. Now, what about you? Go away. Okay. Oh, is this like if I had gone positive versus negative? B. I said, go away. I need help. And what do you expect me to do about it? Go away. Okay, can I help you again? Oh, I can't leave. I must just keep having a conversation here. Because, yeah, I can't leave. For the last time. We're gonna have ourselves a chat. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Yeah, otherwise, why are you here? Look, my help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? Yeah, I'm curious. I trade in oblivion. Oh. I feast on memories. You have to give up a memory of your grand? Oh. Do you time? Yeah, I'm missing one, but you know, don't tell them that. Well, don't come complaining to me when there's a big dark hole in your head. That sounds terrible. What memory are you prepared to? Oh no! To the flames? All right, gift number two. We're going to figure out what are we going to give up here. Oh, I don't get to choose. Oh, I do. Uh, playing on the rooftops under the canopy? Giving me the word book? Her last hug. Um... I feel like... 
uh, there was a lot of pleasant, like a lot of pleasant uh, memories associated with this. It doesn't just seem like one small thing, because these are specific instances. These are like the last hug, not any of the other hugs, specifically the last hug, or getting the word book was a specific instance. This seems like, I think it's something they did more than once. So it's like a continue. I'll just not just the last hug, the last bit of physical contact. You have everything else about them to remember. I only selected it because I knew it was going away. Yeah, everything else is, can stick around. I mean, the hug could have too, but yeah, exactly. Never mind, never mind. Look, this thing can go on forever. The offering has been made. Um, thank you, I guess. Okay, one more offering. One to go, and they'll help me follow the dragon under the lake. Ooh, what next? You have to offer lump. I don't know. Do you think they'd take another memory? The last offering must keep our fire burning. <gasps> it is Lump. A gesture of hope, of friendship. That's why you exist, Lump, to keep that. You are the eternal flame. It cannot be given by you. Ah, oh, jeez. And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> what about Lump? You have something to give? Sure, I got Lump. You would give yourself to help your friend. Yup. Of course. Lump, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. This is important to human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Yeah, so let me pay for the last half hour of pleasantness that you provided to me by forever being their eternal flame. Uh... That's a heck of a return on investment there, Robin. I want to give you something too. My servitude? I'll just double check. It is entirely your choice. Oh, I'll just say thank you instead of asking. I'll just accept. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Lump. You're welcome, human. Remember that time that uh, you were a flaming fiery lady uh, having a real good lop stomp in the cave? Me too, because it was like 45 minutes ago. But goodbye, goodbye forever. Hello for you and Dragon. As little lump jumped into the fire, the flames did a little lump jump. Larger and brighter. Bumped his hump on that lump jump. Her. Bumped her lump. Bump her hump. On them lump jump. There we go. Oh. They didn't last nearly as long as I was expecting. Um. Hello? Oh. Right. Robin felt a change come over her. Oh. Slits opened in her neck. Ugh. Gills. She can now breathe underwater. Oh, like the sides of her neck. Got it. Not the throat. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Thank you, Lump. Thanks, Lump. I'll never forget what you did. I should go to the lake. Follow the dragon. Hmm. I guess. I guess. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. That means that. 18. Where once okay. There was light, was now darkness. Where there was noise, Wait. only cold silence remained. But oh, I can't do swap anymore. Sacrifice be in vain. Nor can I hope. Which used to light me up before. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon.
Oh, they're just gonna they give me the last two. Murky, but she had to brave its depths. Okay. I'm hoping this, yeah, should end the level. Okie doke. Here we go. Okay, that's an auto save. Can I pause you? Excellent, excellent. Before we get too far, too, uh, like any further at all, I'm going back to the main menu. Just want to double check that I can load this and we'll be where we just were. Boink. Oh no. Chapter six, 59 out of 60 fireflies. That's going to haunt me. Okay. Back to the main menu once more. Boink. Make him back up. Okay, that's the... I was going to say. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Less complicated because I don't have to do much. But, uh... I don't have to, you know, change the camera back to me. I can still thank everyone for watching, no matter where or when you happen to be. Wishing everybody out there chill vibes and clear skies. If you find yourself in possession of a plethora of positive energy, please share it if you can spare it. Don't forget about your old pal, the Silent G, Rad Gnarly, saying so long for now. We are back on the air Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time to take over a city and then the world when Juice Pompanusen and I play co-op in Saints Row 4. I've never actually played a Saints Row game. I might have that backwards. We might already have taken over uh, at least America. I think we're the president of the United States. But whatever happens, uh, they need our goofy expertise to help it. Anyway. That's tomorrow night. Till then, TTFN. Let's go find somebody to spread a little love to on our way out of here. Da, da, da. Oh, there we go. Let's go raid. Uh, let's go raid Tyler. Haven't raided them in a in a dog's age. Hold that down to initiate that bit. Hit that to bring up there. Thing of a boozer, and I think I can use my normal log out button because it doesn't actually go to my cam screen it just goes to the uh, shutdown and stuff so thanks very much for watching everybody and i hope to see you tomorrow night for some saints row 4 i'm looking forward to it as i said i've never played any of those and uh, diving in co-op is usually a nice way to experience new games like that ta-ta for now